Hi everyone, my name is Sai. You know, a lot of people have been asking me why I like to fuck kids recently. And then, when I played the video game, uh, <laughs> I wasn't playing very well, and then it's just- Yeah! Why can I get a game over on this boy? Let's go wrestle up some lowly girls! And then, when I fucked the lowly, the cop showed up with the gun and said, it's game over. And ever since that day, <laughs> I've hated game over. I was like, over. what is this, copper? What is this, pig? A coin-off game? This is an antiquated <laughs> system. This is an antiquated system. I hate the fact that I can even get a game over. I hate the fact I can even get arrested for fucking a child. Seven years old? That's old. That's way too old for me. Can we go a Let's Play without talking no. about Sai? No, what channel do you think you're on? It's impossible. It's the funniest subject in the world. <laughs> I just realized as I immediately made fun of Sai as I was sitting it, here. It was your fault. <laughs> I just can't. Monkey didn't do nothing. That was you. Which am I more addicted to, talking about Sai or drinking? Uh, talking about Sai for sure. You haven't had a drink in at least a week. You've talked about Sai eight times today. <laughs> today! We just fucking started. I was telling him about to one of my Uber passengers about him. You were telling your Uber passengers no, about Sai? No, of course not. The guy with no legs whose dick oh, fell out, you were telling god. him about fucking Sai? Oh god, I was... I, I, I just... I pulled into a gas station parking lot after that guy, and I just, like, sat there, sadly. <laughs> it was that bad, man. <laughs> Did he give you a tip? No. What a fucking not. dick! That's that's <laughs> how he lost money? his legs. He was in an Uber and they didn't tip no. him, so he ran, the Uber ran the guy over. No. Fucking asshole doesn't tip his Uber. He said it was a. He said some guy was playing with a gun and it went off. It wasn't even like he fucked up or was like a gangbanger. He just happened to get shot. Oh, he wasn't born with his legs detached from his no. body. Oh wow. No. At least that's not what. It, at least that's what he told me. For all I know, that could have been special effects. That could have been Sasha Baron Cohen in his newest role on Uber Driver. Wow. Interesting series. That would uh, be a, a great episode. Um, the man obsessed with Psy. And then all that. How can one man be so obsessed with a Z-list YouTuber? Find out. <laughs> Is he even a YouTuber anymore? Has he uploaded his Patreon shit? Patreon shit? You mean his GoFundMe? Kickstarter? His GoFundMe? Yeah, he's done one episode. No, 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 no. He... He re-uploaded the one that he put up as an example. <laughs> that, then he took it down until the Kickstarter was done, and then he put it back up. That's the only one he's done for that $2,000. I fucking knew it. It was supposed to be a summer project so that he could stop working on the summer to work yeah, on it. Yeah, it even said three months of YouTube <laughs> debauchery. Like, this is my budget for three yeah, months. And there's no new episodes. <laughs> His budget's like three times mine and shit. But the more he fucks up, the more material we get for the upcoming uh, Rise, Fall, and Decay of Psy. So we, I really hope he keeps this shit going. Because that's like tons of free content. How much left is there to decompose, though? How how does he keep getting worse? <laughs> Even what? after he quits, he continues yeah, fucking he up. he continues to fuck it up. <laughs> it's funny. Um, anyway, so I pull up to Burger's house, and I see the three cop cars. And then I see, uh, as I pull up into the actual driveway, I see Burger standing right outside his front door, on the stoop, looking drunk as hell. <laughs> You know, you're not supposed to drink until 5. You probably started drinking at 11 a.m. that morning. I don't not remember. Earlier. Of course you don't. And there are three police officers and one uh, sheriff's... Sheriff, I, I guess sheriff's deputy is a is a normal officer, right? There, there's four cops, but one of them's like the boss cop, right? And they're interviewing Berger. And when I... I pull up in a, like a frantic pace because I'm like worried about you. Like they see this random guy they don't know pull up and like very swiftly approaching them. And they, they all like... They sort of freak out at me walking up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if any of them, like, reached for their gun or anything, but they look very startled that I was approaching so fast. And they're all staring me down as I walk up to you and I say, What the fuck are you doing, you dipshit? And they're like, Oh, well, you don't need to call them names. And I'm like, No! No, look at this retard. Drunk again. He's supposed to be on his antabuse. These cops did not know what antabuse was. Of course not. They... How are they doing like a domestic call or like a checkup on a drunk guy? They don't even know what ant abuse is? What the fuck? <laughs> really? That's not in the training to know about- They probably didn't even know I was drunk to be honest. Oh, they fu- Of course they fucking knew you were drunk! <laughs> how drunk was I? What are you- oh, You don't even remember it! What do you <laughs> mean how drunk was I? How drunk was I? You were- I had just gotten back from Uber driving. You were completely fucking blitzed. You were Uber driving while drunk? <laughs> yeah, man. No, no. I've, I've never driven drunk, I'm, I'm submitting this video to Uber. <laughs> You're fired. 
Shit, I fell. I only have a minute left to get this shit. Uh, well, I don't know how you did it in Sonic. It's really hard to tell a story while focusing on games. Yeah, yeah. Especially now, when you're going now, fast. now, now, fucking. Let's plays aren't easy, dude. Those yeah. game grumps, man. They, uh, they perfected the art. All that shit form. that everyone was giving me. It's not easy to do. Uh, so I explained that I. They keep asking, "Are you his roommate?" And I had to tell them like five times, "No." I think maybe they were the drunk ones because they didn't even fucking <laughs> understand the things I was saying to them. I was very clear. No, your I'm... accent was too thick. It was too Midwestern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you sound like Boom Hour. I tell you what, I tell you what, I ain't a roommate, but that boy's supposed to be on an interview, and you know I'm supposed to be drinking, and I'm out here fucking uh, stumbling, stumbling on the. Why driveway. am I being timed? I just want to get fucking gems. Anyway, uh, I tell them that I'm your friend. I'm not your roommate. No, I'm not. No, I'm not his roommate. No, listen, I don't live here. I'm not his roommate. I'm his friend. He, he, he moved here to live near me. I'm his friend. No, we're not fucking roommates. You dipshit. You should have just said we were gay cops. lovers. Might as well have. Maybe they would have uh, done you a favor and shot you. <laughs> Don't know why they need four police officers. <laughs> four <laughs> fucking cops to go see a guy who's standing there drunk. <laughs> How, why? Why? Really? There's like, a, I assume, bank robberies going on, a bunch of heists and shit. You send so four cops Three people got raped retard. in the time that I was standing there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure that 18 murders went off while they were checking up to see a fat retard being drunk. Um, so then two of the officers stay with you, the other two want to come talk to me in private so you can't hear it, but of course it doesn't matter because you don't understand what anybody is saying <laughs> And to I don't you. even remember anything. Of course you don't. Uh, and she's like, okay. And you were surprised to hear this part. I guess you don't understand the laws in this new state that you live in. Yeah, I didn't know this. But they told me that if I think he's a danger to himself, that if he really has like a long history of all this bullshit, then I, as his friend, can, like, be responsible for him and go into the station and give a report. And if I just sign a piece of paper, they can force you to go into rehab or whatever the hell. You know, you would know more about that than me. Which would be the worst thing you could do. So if I sign that paper, what exactly would happen? They would... I would be... Like, you'd be arrested? They would arrest me. I would not be allowed to leave well, until the doctor like at the rehab himself says... He's good to go. So that means that I could be locked up for the rest of my life if I get a nurse ratchet. <laughs> so that's why I, I say never call the cops on an alcoholic unless they're, like, screaming on an I-95 and you can hear the car. Well, I mean, you were on the phone with your parents or brother or somebody, and evidently you gave them the impression you were about to kill yourself because after your phone died, they thought you did it, and that's why they wanted to get your address so they could call the cops. I guess your brother figured out the address without me, somehow. Don't know why he... Can just call because, your parents. I don't know. My parents me. probably checked the the myriads of emails and texts yeah. containing my address. Yeah. So I'm sitting there thinking and sort of freaking out myself, like, oh shit, they're putting. I just showed up to check up on my friend. Now they're putting like his life on my shoulders. I have to figure out what to do with this fucking drunk oh, fat fuck retard. Me. Do not send anybody to rehab unless it's like unless it's absolutely like destruction. Well, here's the thing, Burger. Here's the thing. Not not five days earlier, we had recorded the Sonic finale, and I don't know if you remember uh, what. Did you watch the finale back? Do you remember anything you said in the Sonic finale, Burger? You explicitly told me because we were talking about what we're gonna do to keep you alive to stop you from uh, becoming an alcoholic again, and you fucking told me to my face on a video that has two thousand views right now. If if something happens to me and Jackie. And if I start drinking and, and get drunk again, get me institutionalized. You said that to me verbatim. I, it, so I'm sitting there remembering that while talking to this female <laughs> officer. Like, well, he did tell me I should get him institutionalized. If, I this exact, Jackie, if this exact scenario happens. I meant if she died. <laughs> I don't care what you meant. I know what you said. <laughs> But lucky for you, I was like, nah, nah, let me stay and take care of this fat retard. You guys can leave. You don't got to worry about it. And then that's what happened. And, <laughs> and then... You went to Waffle House. <laughs> you remember what happened at Waffle House? No. So, so first of all, you're, it, it's like 5.30 at this point, and you're just still drunk beyond belief. Uh, we, before we went to Waffle House, you went inside, <laughs> and you wanted to heat up some Little Caesars pizza in the oven, because I guess you were very hungry after your long day of drinking and doing nothing. And you uh, you couldn't figure out how to get the oven to work. <laughs> oh, so you, you kept changing the time on it. And then you took the Little Caesars pizza out of the box and just 
placed it in the oven, which I guess, you know, some people, I guess, don't want to use uh, an oven pan or whatever. You just placed it in the oven, and then you stood there waiting for it to cook, but the oven wasn't fucking on! I was like, Burger, you're not doing that, right? And you're like, you're like, I know what I'm doing, shut up. I know what the f I know how to work my oven, dude. I'm not that drunk. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, anytime an alcoholic says I'm not that drunk, assume that they are absolutely black. <laughs> they will not remember anything that's going well, on when an alcoholic don't. says I'm not drunk. Uh, so when I realized your pizza was not cooking anytime soon, I said, "Hey, you just want to go to Waffle House with me?" And I drove your dumb ass to Waffle House. Um, you don't remember what happened at Waffle House? No, why? Did I make a scene? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did! What did I do? First of all, you really wanted to talk to Jackie, but your phone was still dead because you couldn't figure out where your charger was to plug it in! We spent about half an hour in your room before Waffle House looking for your charger and your glasses. Your glasses were sitting just on your desk, but you were, like, digging under your bed. That happens every time, <laughs> you're, man. Every you're, time. You're, the, there's no carpet in his room. The floor is completely covered in, like, coupons from the mail. <laughs> <laughs> it's a coupon city, man. Yeah, I made Which a mess. Which is weird because um, that'd be a mistake you would make when you're sober. To have just mail coupons all over your floor <laughs> in a giant messy heap. Instead of, like, being organized. It was cleanly. organized when I was sober. Like, I thought I, w I was back in Digibro's room. Like, it was just a fucking huge <laughs> mess of garbage everywhere. It was awful. That's what happens when you get drunk. You're dumbass. I guess you assumed that you lost your glasses by storing them completely under your bed? Because you were like on the floor crawling on hands and knees, digging under your mattress trying to find them. I'm wondering, like, why would you even put your glasses there in the first place? I, I, because they have been, like, they have been in, like, in cabinets in other experiences. <laughs> what? Like, I, it's wherever you put it! Yeah, I've spent hours, I've spent like half, <laughs> half of days looking for my glasses before. Uh, while he's under his bed digging, I find uh, half a bottle of some uh, what? Kraken. It's Kraken. What is that? Whiskey booze? It's rum. It's rum. It's ninety-four percent proof or whatever the hell. Just, yeah. Uh, something that you should definitely have as a mixed drink. You're drinking it out of the bottle. No, um, it's a spiced rum. It's made for. Something. It's ninety-four percent or proof or whatever. It's way like. Yeah, that means it's only four. It's only forty-two percent alcohol. I don't usually just drink 42% alcohol by Because itself. you're a pussy. No, because you're an alcoholic. <laughs> I, I, can, find, I find I half drink, a bottle of that I shit. I can drink grain alcohol straight. It hurts. Well, though. yeah, I know. <laughs> I find half a bottle of that shit on his desk while he's halfway under his bed and he can't see me. So I walk, I take it into the bathroom and dump it down the sink and then put it right back where I found it. I'm guessing when you found it the next day, you assumed you drank the whole thing. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> there was even any left. <laughs> well, there's a well, good my amount. tolerance really went down then. Uh, how much is, does that cost a bottle? I want to know how much money I wasted for you. How much money did I pour down the sink? If it was about half, probably like $8. Ha! Get fucked. Yeah. That is $8 of poker money straight down the drain. Get fucked. Well, most of my poker money goes straight down the drain. <laughs> From playing poker? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we... He eventually... I find his glasses for him, which is just sitting on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> he decides... Before looking at his desk where he's, like, at his computer monitor, he decides to first dig under his bed. And we, we go to Waffle House. And he, first of all, you wanted to talk to Jackie, but your phone was dead, so I gave you my phone. And your dumb ass can't hold it in your hand. It's like suddenly you had extreme cerebral palsy and like your fucking hand was all disjointed and your fingers were going in opposite directions and shit trying to hold my phone you dropped it on the floor very hard and fucking cracked my screen i picked it up and the screen felt cracked i say oh you know what you're done i said hey jack you gotta go and i fucking hung up on her because i'm not letting retard touch my phone again then you order like the what do you order at Waffle House? It's the same thing you always order like the big breakfast the all-star breakfast yeah you order the all-star breakfast which it's like bacon a, a piece of toast and all this, you know, big shit that you would, like, eat with your hands. This retard, do you remember how the fuck you ate that shit? You no. fucking retard. No. You, you say, hey, where's the mustard? I hand you the mustard. You cover your entire plate in nothing but mustard. <laughs> no, no, I don't believe you. You're making this shit up. Why would I put mustard on my fucking waffle? I've never done that oh, in my life. Oh, oh, Are you serious? Wait, you, got, you, you have to hear the rest of the story, Burger. It gets worse. <laughs> it gets fucking You're worse. You're full of shit. I, sw I should have taken the picture. I swear to fucking God. I, I swear to God. Mustard on you, you covered, <laughs> you covered your <laughs> eggs, toast, Bacon, the whole fucking thing was covered in mustard. Like, like it was soup and mustard was no, the broth. There's no I swear way. to God. I don't believe it. But wait, it gets worse. 
Then, your fucking, your stew with the mustard broth of a giant piece of toast and bacon and eggs. <laughs> you try to eat it with a spoon. You're trying to spoon up a piece of toast and you're spilling it everywhere and you dump it all over the table on your side. <laughs> So now the table is covered in mustard and your dumb ass trying to keep the spoon steady. You put your elbows on the table to try to feed yourself and your elbows, you got mustard all over your fucking elbows. Is that what? I swear to is God. Is that why my shorts have mustard on them? Yes. I put on my shorts to try to move it. And they come in mustard, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! I've never had mustard at a Waffle House! <laughs> You're fucking with me! Put the mustard in on the pants! There's mustard on my pants, guys! Oh my god, this happens! <laughs> Oh. Oh. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs>